We are here at Sebring. I'm Dan Johnson, and I'm talking this time to a couple of my neighbors. Yeah. We're all from Spruce Creek Flying up in Daytona Beach. Ron Bishop, Alan Norris, yeah. and these fellows are representing the American Legend uh, aircraft. Uh, in what area? Where do you represent the aircraft? We represent the uh, Legend Cubs in Florida and anywhere else in the southeast. We can you get the find, whole a southeast find a live yeah, one. We concentrate <laughs> on, the, on the obvious states. It yes. would be with the, the Gulf, from Louisiana, Mississippi, Florida, Georgia, North South Carolina, but Florida Creek South is the real. Yeah, there are the real, more. There are more legend cubs in Florida than any other state. Is so, that right? Yeah, so that's we a fact. We have a good territory. Mm -hmm. Wow, excellent. Yes. Well, we know it's an aviation lively state. That's why I came here. Yes. Oh, well, yeah. you never knew to leave, so. Oh, I was gone 35 so. years overseas. Just oh, got you're back three years ago. Well, I'm welcome back. No, I'm so loving that's that good. too. Mm -hmm. So I love running into these guys out of my home airport as well, but. Uh, American Legend had a pretty good year last year in 2013 yes. we're talking about. Well, it had been a little low along with everybody else. It's nothing about the company, but everybody's sales have been down and it looked like they came back up pretty nicely. Well, the, the nice thing about the Legend Cub is that, yes, it is a light sport, but first and foremost, it's a Cub. Right. And people, seems it's to be got demanding. history. And, you know, if, if you don't have a medical and you're going to fly light sport, it doesn't scream. I, I lost my medical. It, it's, a, it's a cub. You know, people, I had to consider that aspect, Alan, but that's so a good point. A Another, lot of people don't realize it's a light sport yeah. until you tell them that. Well, it, so. it's hard to know. Unless you see the, yeah, the old Piper cool. image on the yeah. back or something, you Nine, couldn't really Over 90% of the parts off of a 1945 cub will fit on this airplane and vice versa. Is that right? Yeah. I did not know that fact yeah. either. So. Yes. I bought a step out of a grab box in Alaska off a 43 cub, and it bolted right onto here. <laughs> is that right? Yeah. Yes. The other thing about the cub is that is a, the nostalgic value. It draws people to see the exposed cowling. Sure, sure. And I, I have another light sport. You remember that I, flying that other light sport? Right, and I it's a check. That, yeah. It's uh -huh. a check airplane. And um, getting parts for these, it's just a day and night difference between you know the Rotax and trying to get parts for this engine. 65 years old. Yeah, the right, of it. Right, right. They've, 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 we talked to Continental earlier, and uh, they mentioned you kindly, and uh, you're one of the people, one of the companies that's using their engines a lot. But, yeah. but anyway, you roll this into a mechanic shop, and he pretty much knows what to do, right? That's right. Yeah, that's right. So that's a big advantage. Plus, it is American made. We got a lot of wonderful overseas products. It's like Texas and America. But uh, we're right. <laughs> yeah. We are now, ever since we adopted them. But, uh, that's right. So anyway, yeah. just down the road a piece, sort of say. And, have you uh, been to the factory? I have been. So impressive. Yeah. Yes. You know, each building, you know, the paint shop's different over here, and the assembly building. It's grown up here. since I was there, even, but uh, you know, nice bunch of folks down yeah, there. And, nice uh, bunch of folks. Uh, north, nice. northeast of the Dallas Fort Worth area. Yes, yes. About an hour out of Dallas. Piece, yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah, and you know, one thing they did that was smart when they started building these in 2005 is they improved the things where they saw obvious improvements needed to be made. They Give me a couple the, examples. They put the fuel up in the wings, okay. which changed the CG. It had been behind the engine. Right. And three so inches you, wider. You, you solo this from the front seat. Uh, it's okay. three inches wider than the fuselage, which is, doesn't sound like a lot, but it's a huge difference. Sounds like a lot to if me. you climb out of a J3 <laughs> and into this, you'll you'll notice. And that the, X, the Alaska X you see up there? Uh, yeah, OK. Uh, that's, that's that modification that the uh, people in Alaska did to it for safety, because when they turn over, it didn't have that structure. Oh, OK, this is in the event of an upset of some kind. Right. That gave you some, uh, the airplane's not sitting on your head. Right. And, and, and the two doors. And there's no bungees in the landing gear. They went to, oh, yeah, OK. Uh, uh, there's springs. Uh, there's shock struts in there? Okay. No, it's springs. Yeah, spring. OK. Oh, there you go. Oh, there you go. OK, See. great. Right Pretty basic 101. Yeah, right. It seems like that's something that would have occurred to somebody 70 years ago. Yeah. They had a lot of bungee cord laying around, I guess. <laughs> you know, Dan, another thing is that we've been putting the, the uh, you'll notice the two airplanes we have here, uh -huh. we've been putting the float plane props on the wheel cups. Yeah, and why so? Um, the performance, and this is this key. If you now, this is sensitive, so they've got the easy adjustment, I know. Yeah, so. that you, you this key will pop out in your hand. Yeah. And you can put another keyway in and lock the blades against the key. It's not one of those things with a protractor and all that. Yeah, thing. I've heard him say that. I guess I didn't realize it was that easy to do, though. It is. You just have to torque it And another all-American company right here in Florida as well, Plant yeah. City, Florida, where Sensenic yeah. is out of. Yeah. They, they really built a quality propeller. I mean, you, you, if you walk around here, you'll see a lot of, yeah, they're, they're, a lot of they're variations more and more of propeller. Dominance in yeah. there, so. so I see you both wearing Creek Cubs on your shirts, and we know you're representing American Legion. What's Creek Cubs all about? What do you do, and where do you do it? Creek Cubs is a business we started a little over a year ago, and um, we're the really the only official dealer legend has. Um, 
We inventory our planes. We're exclusively flying near Daytona Beach, Florida. Um, we're at CreekCubs.com. Uh, we have airplanes in inventory. We service airplanes. We'll help arrange training. Um, and it's about the fun. We, what we try to market is the experience of flying a, a Legend Cub. They're just. I, I've I've flown a lot of airplanes, 60 different types of airplanes, but I've never had this much fun in an airplane. The cub experience and that's the new exactly. Yeah. That's exactly. what Darren's always said. Don't sell the airplane, sell the experience. Yeah, yeah right. Excellent. You know, you flop the door open, and you go up and down the beach. It's, there's nothing like that. Yeah, it's marvelous. So, yeah, okay, yeah. CreekCubs.com. CreekCubs.com. Okay, and uh, I've had stuff on, uh, did a bit on uh, Ron earlier. Yeah. We'll have more. I've covered the airplanes as well, and we'll continue. You can find all that on ByDanJohnson.com or BYDanJohnson.com. Thanks a lot for joining us here at Seabrain.